One can always find new and historic airplanes here at AirVenture, but this year there's also a rocket center stage. As Paul Moses tells us, Blue Origin has some people here doing a different kind of dreaming. Five, four, command start, two, one, zero. On November 23rd, 2015, Blue Origin's New Shepard rocket became the first to ascend above the Kármán line 62 miles up, which is considered the boundary between Earth's atmosphere and space, and then successfully returned to Earth for a vertical landing. And this is that same ship at Oshkosh following four more suborbital flights. Gradatum ferociter, step by step ferociously in Latin, that's our motto, and so those tortoises really represent what we're about. So after every flight, we paint on another tortoise. You take off, you land, you fly again. That's exactly what we're doing with New Shepard, and that's the model that we're going for with all of our reusable rockets at Blue Origin. So this is the full-scale mock-up of the crew cabin for the Blue Origin rockets, and you can see the window is of record size. I guess they want you to make sure you get your money's worth as they blast you into orbit before the parachutes come out and you begin your descent back to Earth. The entire flight from takeoff to touchdown will take just 11 minutes. You're gonna see the curvature of the Earth. You're gonna see the blackness of space. Juxtapose against the beautiful colors of Earth popping back at you. It's gonna be an incredible experience. Exactly how much is it worth? Well, that's yet to be determined. And it's interesting to hear how perspectives change with age. Space flight itself, I think it's um, probably something that I'd probably not want to go up in at the moment. <laughs> but I think in the future, then it is the way to go. I'd probably go as a space tourist and then, if I enjoy it, try and get into the career then, because it does seem very interesting. Think you'd ever want to be a space tourist? I don't think so. Do you want him to be a space tourist? No. <laughs> it's too far to visit. <laughs> I suppose checking it out here is a little more down to earth. Paul Moses, AOPA Live. Blue Origin is also working on a three-stage rocket dubbed New Glenn. For now, Blue Origin founder Amazon's Jeff Bezos and his team hope to fly customers next year, but Bezos says they won't do it until the new Shepard is ready. So Tom, I think you had a chance to get in the capsule. I did, and it was re really fun to get in. It's a mo full-size mock-up of the capsule. You really feel like you're ready to launch, sitting right here at AirVenture. And, and I, I learned something, too. You, you know, the name of the current rocket, the, the one that's here, has actually been up in space five times and landed back. Uh, and do you know why it's called New Shepard? No. Alan Shepard, first American to go suborbital. Their next rocket, which is going to go into orbit, is called New Glenn after John Glenn, first American to go into orbit. So it's pretty neat the way they named their set. That's a nice nod to 